Hi everybody, I'm Celeste. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to increase your web surfing by 500% and more, and it's through 9 very simple tips. Okay, if you're currently not already using Google Chrome, I highly encourage that you use it. It's widely recognized as one of the fastest and best browsers out there right now. And you can simply download it by going to chrome.com and here you can download for Windows, Android or even iOS. With Chrome downloaded and installed, my first tip that I have to share with you is using what I call shortcut browsing. A lot of us, when we're going to a website, we may think that the fastest way to visit the website would be, what, directly typing a URL in the address bar, isn't it? Maybe we want to go to Twitter and then we type twitter.com, okay, and we press enter, and we'll be there at the website. Now, the thing is, there's an even faster way to get to the websites of your intentions, and it's through a function that is available in Chrome. So first, you right-click this address bar, and then you click Edit Search Engines, and you get this pop-up whereby under the title, Other Search Engines, you can specify abbreviations which serve as short forms for the full addresses of the websites that you want to visit. So for example, let's say okay, Facebook is a site that you visit often. You can use, say, FB as the keyword you want to use to access the site. And then here you type in the URL of the website, which is facebook.com. For me, my Facebook profile is facebook.com slash Chua and this is the URL I have set for the keyword and then I check done. Okay, so what happens is that when I type FB and I press enter, immediately it loads to my Facebook profile page which is the URL I have specified and similarly I have specified many other websites for the short terms. For example, here you see F. Okay, which is personalexcellence.co slash forum. So whenever I type in F, it leads to the forums section of the Personal Excellence website. Another example, here you see GM, which represents Gmail because I check my email every day. So then I type GM, enter, and here it goes directly to my Gmail. Similarly, I've also set tons of other sites. So GCAL, the website that I go to often, Google Calendar. So GCAL, enter goes right to my Google Calendar. Even Twitter, okay, when I press T, enter, goes directly to my Twitter page. YouTube, Y, enter, goes directly to my YouTube page. Or even PayPal, the payment gateway that I use. PP is my abbreviation for it. And I press enter, goes right to the PayPal website where I can log in and check my information. So shortcut browsing, extremely useful. Just using this one tip alone has increased my web serving by tons. Okay, my second tip is an extension of the shortcut browsing and it's what I call shortcut searching. Okay, so let's say we want to search something on a particular page. Okay, so let's say we want to search something on YouTube. So what most of us do is probably go to YouTube homepage and then here we type in whatever key term video that we want to look for. Okay, and then we press enter. Okay, now there's actually an even faster way to search for whatever it is that you want to search for. And here's what you have to do. So let's say I search for videos on YouTube very often. So what I do is select this whole thing, right click, copy, okay, and then in Chrome, right click, click edit search engines, okay, scroll all the way down, add a new search engine. So let's say YouTube search, keyword Y, T, these are the letters that I want to use as the hotkeys. And then here I paste the whole URL that I copied just now from the address bar, except, okay, I delete this whole part with the Resident Evil 6, which is the random query that I type. Delete it, and then I type in percentage %s. Now, this is the wildcard string that tells Google Chrome that it's going to replace with whatever search terms that you type in next time. Then click Done. So, what happens now is whenever you press YT, remember that those are the hotkeys you specified, then space. Look, it instantly becomes searchyoutube.com and then you can type in whatever query you want. Okay, for example, Resident Evil 6 now. See, Google Chrome searches those keywords directly in YouTube and brings you to the results page on youtube.com without you having to first manually visit YouTube to type in those search terms. Now, another example. Let's say you want to search for something else, okay? YT space flowers. Enter. 
and then you get flower videos, okay, or even something else. YT space sunrise. Ta-da! You get sunrise videos, or videos that have sunrise as the key term in them. Okay, so it works for any website, even like say Flickr, which is an image repository. Here, let's say you want to search for heart shape. Enter. Okay, now you select this whole URL, right click, copy. Okay, then right click edit search engines, go all the way down and here at the new search engine, okay, Flickr. Keyword, let's say you want to use the keywords Flickr, okay, and then here you paste the URL, delete the query that you type in and then put percentage as, then check done. And then whenever you type Flickr space, okay, let's say hard shape, we're going for that same search term, enter. Ta-da! Okay, you get the images that relate to your search term. And same for any other terms that you're going to type, let's say toys, enter. And then you get all the images related to toys here. Okay, when setting the hotkeys, you should be sure that these hotkeys do not duplicate with any other hotkeys that you have specified for other things. So for example, you see here, all the hotkeys I specified are all mutually exclusive. Let's say if I were to specify Y for Twitter and Y for YouTube, okay, there's going to be a clash, okay? So you want to make sure that all the hotkeys you are typing in, they are all mutually exclusive and different from each other. Many other websites which are great for this shortcut searching method, think about the sites that you personally search often. So dictionary.com is a site that I use often to just cross-check the spelling of some of the words. So the hotkeys I specified would be D-I-C space and let's say I want to check the spelling for the word obsess. Okay, type enter. And there you have it, okay? So I instantly go to the results page dictionary.com has for obsess. And then same for, let's say, wiki, space, Barack Obama. Enter. Instantly brings me to Barack Obama's Wikipedia page. Okay, and you can do that for all kinds of pages where you often search YouTube, Flickr, Google Images, Wikipedia, Dictionary.com, Thesaurus.com, and many more. Okay, the third tip would be using direct searching. So rather than going, say, to google.com and then here typing whatever search term it is that you want to search, let's say, how to deal with critical people, you can just type this whole query directly into the address bar. And in Chrome, this address bar serves as a search tool as well and is known as the Omni box. Okay, so just paste, enter, and here you have it, you have the Google search term page. And same for anything else that you want to type in, how to plan a wedding, enter. And there's no need to go to google.com at all, this is a search tool in itself. Okay, my fourth tip would be using a text substitution or a text expansion tool. And I've already covered this in detail in my video tutorial, how to increase your typing speed by 500%. So I highly recommend that you check that out. My fifth tip is something specific to Google Chrome and it is using pin tabs. Now notice on my Google Chrome, I have all these different tabs open, but some of the tabs are small, like these three tabs on the left. And it's because I've pinned these tabs, okay? And you can pin any tab by simply clicking the tab that you want pin, right click, select pin tab, and then it becomes this little mini tab here. And you can also adjust it and move it between the other tabs that you have pinned. So this sort of serves as your hot favorites websites. Use the pin tool to pin the frequently visited websites rather than closing, opening them all the time because this is so much easier and more efficient. And in order to unpin the tab, simply right click the pin tab and then select unpin tab and then you expand again. Okay, my sixth tip would be to set pages to load automatically. Now, at the end of the day, we will have to switch off our computer or sometimes we close our browsers. Sometimes our browsers hang and crash by themselves. So what happens when you close off your browsers and you reload them? You open up to this browser where you have to start off by keying in the web pages, the websites that you want to visit. Now, that is a total waste of time. In Chrome, you can set your pages to load automatically when you start your browser. So notice that all the tabs that are open right now are exactly the same as the tabs that I had left open when I closed my browser just a few seconds ago. And you can easily set this by going to settings 
and here under on startup check continue where I left off and what happens is that whatever tabs you have open at the point when you close off Google Chrome whether from it crashing or you shutting down your computer or you closing off your browser it will reopen all those same tabs when you start the browser again you can also choose the option open a specific page or set of pages and here what you do is that you can specify those pages that you want Google Chrome to load instantly once you start it up for me, I said continue where I left off because sometimes I may be in the middle of reading a certain article, watching a certain video, and I want to continue reading this and watching this when I return to the computer later on. So it helps me to resume my web surfing rather than restarting from square one. Okay, my seventh tip is to use bookmarks. Okay, so I'm sure most of us are already here using bookmarks. If you don't know how to bookmark a web page, Ctrl D does the trick. You can also select the folder. I always find it very useful to save my bookmarks and organize them in various folders. Okay, so it's very, very easy for me to end up with like hundreds and hundreds of bookmarks. And what I do is I just need to make sure that I organize them, declutter them often. So you can easily arrange and organize your bookmarks by clicking this little icon here. Okay, going to bookmarks and then here under bookmark manager, okay, you can see all the bookmark folders that you have set and all the bookmarks that you have bookmarked before and you can easily delete them, rearrange them, okay, move them up and down of each other and you can even sort them by clicking the folder that you want sorted, then clicking this title that says organize and here you select reorder by title and everything will now be in alphabetical order. My eighth tip is to set your default download location for the items that you download on the web. Ever had a time when you downloaded a file and you have no idea where that file went to even though it told you that the download has been completed? What you can do is you can set this default download location for every single file that you download on Google Chrome. And you do that by going to settings and then here click show advanced settings. Okay, scroll down here to the title that's called downloads and you can specify the download location. Set it to a folder that you're familiar with and you know you want all the downloads to go to. I personally just set it on my desktop because that way whatever file I download, I can instantly just click show desktop and then I can double click on the file and view it, watch it, read it right away. My knife and last tip is to use autofill forms by just one two clicks of the mouse. You can populate web forms with a lot of default information such as your email address, your name, your postal code, your street address, your telephone number and so on. So Google Chrome has this built-in function. You can also preset the forms or let's say if you want to edit, update some of the information that you've keyed in the past, you do that by going to settings going to the header that's called passwords and forms okay so here you check enable autofill to fill out web forms in a single click under here you can also have the option to save passwords I entered on the web so this really should be checked obviously you shouldn't be checking this if your computer is shared and used by many other people then click manage autofill settings and here you can see two autofill settings I already have and you can add new ones by clicking this and populating this form first. So this will come out as one of the options you can use next time. You can also populate with your credit card information. Only do this on a computer that you yourself are only using. This helps heaps with your payment, your online purchases next time. Then click done. So these are the tips that I have to share with you. Do you have any tips to share of your own on how to increase web surfing, be for Chrome or other browsers? Do share in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe to youtube.com slash Chua for more great video tutorials. Visit personalexcellence.co for great articles on how to be your best self and live your best life. Okay, thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you guys again in the next video. Bye guys!